My father was the chief law enforcement officer in this country. I think it would have disturbed him if somebody was put in jail for a crime they didn't commit. Sirhan confessed to shooting Kennedy at his trial, but has always maintained he has no memory of the incident. His lawyer had told him that he was clearly uh, regarded as guilty, that he, he, in order to save his life, because they, they, at that time they had capital punishment in California, in order to save his life, he had to uh, plead uh, to the crime. And it's Trey, now 93, who's been leading the charge to reinvestigate the killing since the 1970s. And it was Trey who convinced Robert Kennedy Jr. to independently examine this case. He's hoping the Innocence Project will take it on. Meantime, Sirhan is serving a life sentence. He's been denied parole 15 times, most recently in 2016. Interesting development. And, and I think Robert Jr. just wants some closure. But he was 14 when he lost his dad. He was only 14, the third of 11 children. That's something that we sometimes forget, such a big family with such a painful loss. But one of the interesting things about this case is that Sirhan Sirhan was reportedly in front of Robert Kennedy, and investigators initially said that he was murdered by a gunshot wound that went through the back of him. So, a lot of questions. So many questions, and maybe closure soon. Re-examining history. Thank you, Adrian. Adrian, thank you. Coming up, we're going to switch gears entirely. Look at this, the incredible...